Thank you so much for coming with me to the hospital, Jessica. It's no problem, Allison. What are friends for? Hospitals seriously give me anxiety. There's so much sadness and death here. It's kind of like being at a Kardashian party, am I right? Okay, now is not the time for your stand-up, Jessica. There is never not a time for it, Allison. Oh my god, Allison. Why are you here? Since when do you work at a hospital, Heather? Since I found some scrubs, put them on, and stole an ID badge. You're kidding, right? Wink. Of course I am. Okay, now that's just not reassuring. Oh, is this a friend of yours, Allison? Well, sort of, in a manner of speaking. She's Maria's friend. Best friend. Best friend. People get that confused all the time. Honestly, I think my sister's only friend is Starbucks. Okay, now you're just being insensitive and delusional. Why are you even here? Well, I've been having these bad headaches and I just want to get them checked out. You know, make sure it's nothing serious. Oh, okay, that's understandable. Have a seat and I'll call you when we are ready. Wow, I really wasn't expecting to see you here behind me. Get your asses up, we're ready for you. Wow, this room is pretty nice. Yeah, now that you mention it, it really is. Oh God, I hope they see me really soon. I'm sure they will. And I know there's nothing to worry about. All righty, Miss Allison. Let's start your examination. Oh my God, no. Please don't tell me it's Heather. Wait, you're a doctor too? Oh, well, I technically am if I have a uniform for it. Heather, I need an actual doctor. Now, 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 you guys have no need to worry about anything with Dr. Heather here. I have my PhD after all. Oh, really? How long have you had it? Since I've walked into this room. I don't think this is a good idea. I'm going to need to prescribe you two shots of shut the hell up and let me do my job. All right, enough, guys. You're giving me a headache. Oh, yes. Let's get those headaches checked out. Now lay back and let me examine that kidney. Excuse me, Dr. Heather. I don't mean to interrupt your examination, but you are much needed in the other patient rooms. Nurse Aaron, what have I told you about interrupting me while I'm with a patient? Don't go being rude to me. I don't have time for your nonsense, cuckoo bird. I have to go watch my stories. Ah, she is such a slacker. Looks like you have your hands full. I'm about to have my hands full of her blood once I'm finished with her. Well, looks like you have your hands full. Feel free to go and send another doctor my way. Don't be silly. You guys are going to help me with all these patients. Why would we do that? Because I'm in too deep and I really need some help. Heather, that's illegal. Not if we don't get caught. There's nothing you can say to convince us to help you. I have a bag full of cute animal pictures with your name on it, Allison. Oh my gosh, deal. Really, Allison? It takes that to convince you to- And plaid shirts for you, Jessica. Get my doctor's coat stat. Looking sharp, ladies. Now, Allison, I need you to help me with examinations. Heather, I don't know how to examine patients. Oh, neither do I. Just look at them and listen to what's bothering them and then guess. That's what all doctors do after all. I don't think that's what they do. Oh, I'm sorry, Allison. Which one of us here has the medical degree? None of us do. You're definitely right, Allison. I'm the only one here with one. So show some respect. What? So then what do you want me to do? Oh, your job is easy, Jessica. Just deliver whatever diagnosis is on the sheets. Sounds easy enough. Okay, gang, let's get the job done and not get in prison for impersonating doctors. Wait, what? Heather, are you serious? I said, let's get the job done. Okay, so your chart says you have herpes. I came in with a foot injury. Okay, so what's bothering you, Lincoln? Okay, since when are you a doctor? Don't worry about it. So why are you here? Allison, you're not a doctor. Patient seems to have a bad case of being a dick. Okay, your condition isn't so bad. Just get a haircut. I'm not even a patient. Huh. That's funny. I'm not really a doctor. Your chart says you have swine flu. Wait, isn't that highly contagious? Shouldn't I be quarantined? Oh, yeah, that's a great point. Uh, back up for me a little. Okay, please explain what's happening to you again. I feel a weird tingling right here. It started while I was scrapbooking. Maybe you have measles. From scrapbooking? Hey, it could happen. Oh, I know. Your friend got possessed by an evil ghost pirate. Yeah, I demand rob. Yes, that's right. So can you please help him? Oh no, I'm not qualified to deal with this. But if I had a priest uniform, then I would be qualified to deal with this. All right, next up. This chart says... What the hell do you think you're doing? I, um, I, uh, hmm, I, um... Uh... Her patient's over there, you ditzy lesbo. Oh, right, my bad. So how are you making out? I'm doing okay. This is actually pretty fun. I know, we should do this more often. Hold on there, you two. I have some questions for you. Oh, no. So how may I help you? You can help me by coming down to station, crazy pants. Oh, God damn it! this is just great. How did they find out? Stupid ass crazy bitch thinking she can be a doctor and then bring in a blue head vegan and a lesbo to help her. 
At least they did all me work for me. You know, we should have seen this coming. Yeah, this was a stupid idea. I say we blame it all on Heather. This is her fault after all. Deal! Psst. Hey, you guys. I just broke out and found a uniform. Ready to be cops now? Meh, all right. What do we have to lose? 